What's up, everybody? This is How Vu back at it again. Welcome back to the How Vu Moto Vlog. Today's episode, I'm just going to do a quick run through of my gear, all the gear I have, which is not a lot, admittedly, and um, just let you guys see what I'm working with here. This is actually the garage of my apartment complex where I park my bike, so I just wanted to give you guys kind of a shot, a good idea of what I'm dealing with as far as where I park my bike. And this is literally where I learned how to ride, um, you know, slow speed stuff, you know, in this parking garage. When I first moved in, there was nobody here. I got to pick my parking spot. So initially, I hadn't decided to get a bike at that point. I just picked this spot because I figured there was nothing but the energy meters and that extra space on the left-hand side. So, you know, there's just more room for me to park, a little more freedom there. I thought that was the best space, and it's the closest one to the doors in the elevator. Little did I know it wor would work out perfectly for the uh, motorcycle. So that's really, really cool. I just put it in the spot, and then I walk it out when I'm ready. There's actually, I think that's CHP on his motorcycle on the walking trail. This is uh, downtown Sacramento right there. This is the Sacramento River, and this is the view from my living room and bedroom. Right to the left there is Drake's, a.k.a. The Barn. They serve beer and pizza and wings and stuff like that. It's a really cool place to have around this community, which is a very small community here in Sacramento, in West Sacramento. This is the bedroom. I've laid out all my gear on the table. Let's get another view out here. There's the river, the pier, some boats going by. And then you can see downtown in the distance there. But, geez, I never thought I'd be filming in my bedroom for the Moto Vlog YouTube channel. This is all my gear laid out. There's not that much of it. This is pretty much everything but the motorcycle. These are my riding jeans. They're just Levi 512s. I usually wear the 511s, but the 512 has a slight taper at the bottom, at the ankle, so I like that a little bit more. I think that's more a modern look, and it goes better with different types of shoes. I, I don't think it looks that great when you have a kind of wide bottom, and um, you're just wearing shoes, and it just drops down and covers the shoe. It just looks kind of funky to me. This is a liner that I wear when I snowboard in the wintertime. I will throw this under the jeans in the winter when I'm riding, and it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, hoodie, which I also wear in the winter time underneath the leather jacket like I was talking about in the previous video. This is the leather jacket that I got on Amazon. It was about $120 with free two-day shipping, so that was amazing. And there's a lot going on. I mean, I'm not like super in love with it, but I do really like it. It fits me spot on. There's like all these zippers there. It looks kind of, it has this kind of like distressed look to it. And, you know, there's a little bit of this weird texture. I suppose it's supposed to be like padding, but there's no actual armor inside. It's pretty well made. Um, I'm sure it's not the same quality as if, you know, you were to spend $400. I mean, look, this, this stitching is already kind of coming apart here. And the brand you see is Real Leather, RL, not Ralph Lauren, but Real Leather. This is 2XS. Um, has plenty of pockets. And, you know, I'm telling you, if you just go on eBay or Amazon and just type in Cafe Racer Leather Jacket, you'll get so many styles to choose from. And I'm just super stoked about this one, you know, for like a third of a price of a regular leather jacket. This is actually how I record my riding footage. I don't have anything on my helmet. There's a couple of reasons for that. Mainly, it's because I never really decided that I was going to be a moto vlogger, you know, with the microphone set up. And there was even times I experimented with a microphone set up and, you know, the wires and hooking it up, running it through your helmet. And I just, you know, maybe, I don't want to rule it out, but for now, I just get footage simply by using this attachment on here. This is actually made to strap onto a backpack or to clip onto a backpack, so I just clip it onto the pocket. The downside is I can only record footage when I'm wearing this jacket because you'll see in a second, my Dionese jacket does not have a chest pocket like this. And this is fun. This is actually a cut up Costco gift card that I put right here because this thing has teeth and I figured it would dig into the leather jacket over time. Um, so I put that there, it works out pretty well, I mean, this is a GoPro Hero 7. I put a little black tape there. I went to the farmer's market last weekend, and I was kind of recording because I ride my motorcycle to the farmer's market, and I just kind of live stream it for my friends. And, you know, it already kind of freaks people out when they see a GoPro, like, pointed at them. But if, if the light is blinking red, I figure it freaks people out even more. So I put that tape there. Um, I'm sure it doesn't help that much. But um, anyways, here it is, the leather jacket. These are my winter gloves. These are from Dainese. I think it's cool that they put this little Italian, you know, it's comforting to see that, right? They want you to know it's Italian made, even though I don't really think they're made in Italy anymore. I think they're 
I forgot what country they're in, like Turkey or somewhere else, but not, I don't think a lot of their stuff is made in Italy anymore. But here you can see some padding, and these things are bulky. These are like chubby sausage fingers right here. And honestly, in the dead of winter, little Dionese Demon logo right there, in the dead of winter, these things still let some wind through, and I still found myself getting cold, especially when you're going fast. Um, so, you know, I did buy a little tiny liner, but when I wear the liner and these gloves, it's damn near impossible to control the bike. So, I don't, I don't know how other people do it in the winter. Let me know, guys, what, what you do in the wintertime if you guys are riding in climates that, that it gets really, really cold. These are my everyday gloves. I like them. I think they were like 40 bucks, and they are coming apart a lot right here. I don't know if they'll last that much longer, but this stitching is only so that you can manipulate your smartphone with it, so I'm not really too worried about it. The leather here, goatskin leather, it's kind of wearing. It's been six months now, so six months of pretty much everyday use. I really don't think they're going to last more than you know two years, but they're really s slim, slim profile, and um, check it out. These are actually women's gloves. My hands are so tiny. I have women's, hand, like, so I had to buy the women's size. But, I mean, it's the same exact thing as the men's size, but it just fits me, like, perfectly. So I really have no shame, really no shame there. Um, the tag is pink, you know. But from a guy who has a Hello Kitty on his keychain, I'm really, you can really tell that I really don't care. I just, uh, I do what I need to do. This is my Rurock helmet here and a real little reflection of me there. I don't really know how to get around that. Um, just a really, really sick helmet. I love it. It just looks very, very modern. This is the Mercury edition. And I just couldn't be happier. I actually have the 2.0 on order. Um, these shoes are actually brand new. That's why they're on the bed. I would never, ever put used shoes on my bed, believe me. Look, you can still see the cardboard in there. <clears throat> Brand new. Um, just a very clean, old school, simple look. I think it looks great with the jeans and especially the leather jacket look. Um, all black, you know, keeping with the theme of the bike. And generally the things I wear are black. So really stoked to get these on. And, um, you know, I think the black will hide kind of the scuffs that you get from riding. Surely the white will get messed up, but that'll be easy to clean. And then the area where you shift, you know, it's kind of like pretty tough and black there. So I'm not too worried about that. This is probably one of my favorite items, my Dionese uh, summer jacket. It's just very kind of minimalist design. It says Dionese. It's all black. It has the elbow padding and the shoulder padding. It does not come with a back protector or a hip protector, but you can drop them in in these little slots. There's a pocket here. Like I said, it's a size 44, and it fits me very, very well. There you go again with the Italian stitching. Um, a lot of adjustability throughout the jacket. The zipper there, it's a very high quality zipper. It stays in place. Little buttons here. And then the back, you do have a cool Dionese Demon logo. And it just lets so much air through. You can see how much meshy it is everywhere. But the thing is, I've had some uh, meshy jackets where you can just like see through the entire jacket and I just really didn't care for that. But this one, even with the liner removed, you can't really see through it. And then when I wear a t-shirt or something, since it's a, like a moto cut, it cuts very above the waist. So I just tuck in my shirt. I think it looks a lot cooler that way. Um, if you're wearing like a t-shirt and it's like longer than the jacket, it looks really silly. But this is the liner it comes with. It looks like a little trash bag. It just buttons in. And then for the slightly cooler days, this jacket is definitely not going to get it done in the wintertime. But, you know, in that transition between, you know, the cold winter and it's just starting to get to spring where it can a sunny day in the morning, you know, maybe pop the liner in. But right now it's like 92 degrees outside and that's not even that hot for Sacramento summer. So I just rock it like this. And that is pretty much my gear setup, guys. Um, I wear like high ankle socks in the wintertime. I wear really thick kind of snowboarding socks. And that's it for me. I have been eyeing a pair of Dionese riding shoes, but they're like $200. And I'm like, I don't, I feel like they wouldn't be as comfortable as wearing a pair of sneakers. I mean, I know for sure they wouldn't be. And you get some ankle support for sure. They're probably heavier and clunkier. But, um, you know, that's definitely on my list. Again, I don't know about riding pants. Maybe if I'm going to do extended trips, I'll consider that. But even then, I really don't know if I'm going to invest in pants. I just, I, I can't see that being a very comfortable situation. And, and I'm, like I said, I'm willing to take the, take the extra risk. 
Anyways, guys, that's it for my gear video. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want like links to the specific jacket, the Dionese jacket or the helmet in particular, I'll be glad to uh, post those up. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all the subscribers, everyone that commented. This video was for Robbie Gaming HQ. This one's for you, bud. So thank you very much. Havu signing out.